Okay, cool. So uh, thank you for the intro. Uh, and this will be just a quick demo and just to showcase some ways in which we could use Notebook LM. So as James mentioned, Notebook LM is sort of your personalized AI research assistant. Uh, and uh, it's looking at how you can create sort of a collection of documents and material that you can easily reference. It is using Gemini. And you do have access to Notebook LM uh, for free. There's also an upgraded version called Notebook LM Plus that you get access to if you also have the Gemini licenses. Now, one of the main differentiators here is how many sources you can actually use, how many documents and links and so on and so forth you can use uh, as sources. And also in the Plus version, you can share your notebooks with colleagues and uh, have some analytics. And I'll also show you one of the newest features where you can actually sort of have a podcast style conversation, uh, dialogue, interview with, uh, with the AI generated voices. So just a brief overview once again, you can start from your own sources and I'll show you how this looks like in, uh, in the interface directly. And then you can get insights directly from those sources. So this is great for research purposes, but uh, as usual, there's lots of creative use cases. As James was mentioning with the app script, Education use cases uh, are way more profound and creative than business cases. The same thing happens with many tools because educators like to try things out. And uh, one other thing and one other advantage for using uh, Notebook LM is that, especially if you work on a research project or if you want to show your sources, it will organize everything neatly for you. Now, let's dive right in and see how this looks like in action. So I did prepare a couple of uh, examples for uh, for the different tabs or for the different uh, uh, notebooks or different use cases. And I will want to show you uh, some examples just so you have an idea of how this could be useful for, for you on a day-to-day -day basis or in some cases for some very, very situational use cases. So let's start with um, what most educators need a way to organize their resources, their teaching resources. One thing I always struggled with as a science teacher was sort of managing my resources. I always had lots of bookmarks and folders and documents and links on Drive, uh, links in my bookmarks folder, resources on Drive, be it docs or slides or whatever else. And every year when I was going back to teaching the same topic, I had to go through this process of finding the right resource for that particular group and tweaking the things, even though I did have the resources there and we would share them with our department and everything else. There was always this process of going and sifting through the resources and finding the one that I needed. And this is where back then I would have killed to have a tool like Notebook LM. And this is one example of such a use case. A notebook I've created specifically for my use as a science teacher or a geography teacher or math teacher or anything that you would be teaching, where you could add all of your teaching resources related to a certain unit in one notebook. So in this case, I'm looking at sustainable resource use and management and uh, particularly about the hydrological cycle. And what you can do is, once again, add all of your sources here. And when I say sources, this could be any document you have in Drive, any slide you have in Drive. It could be external websites. It could be YouTube videos. Or you could just, you could just copy paste uh, text. Now, also, you could upload your sources. And this is the great part about Gemini. Uh, it is a multimodal um, um, model so it does work also with audio and video so you could have for example an audio recording that could be an interview or something like that you could actually upload that as a source and it would pull information from even an audio recording same story goes with pdf files you could have pdf files or even markdown or text files any kind of format you could just upload it as a source so as an example here for this notebook, I have YouTube videos, I have PDF files, I have uh, documents that I've created in my drive and I've shared. I have an audio file. Uh, so there's, I have websites. So there's a lot of options here in terms of what you could upload as sources. Now, once you have the sources uploaded, 
the next thing is, of course, uh, Notebook LM can easily give you an overview of what information you have in those sources. So I could say, you know what, I want to have a briefing doc, and this would generate uh, the briefing doc for uh, basically giving you an overview of all of your sources. So this is how a briefing doc would actually look like. I've generated one earlier. Um, and it gives you an overview of all the resources you have here. Uh, it neatly organizes them based on topics, and it helps you make connection between all of those sources. Besides that, though, once you have this, you can also use it to generate any kind of other documents. So for example, a study guide. This is where I can actually ask Notebook LM to summarize all the content into a study guide for my students, and then I could share this study guide with my students. Or I could turn it into uh, a list of frequently asked questions. So this particular notebook, I'm using it as an example for uh, teaching, so organizing my resources for teaching. Maybe an FAQ would not be that useful. But think about, for example, a notebook where you have resources related to troubleshooting uh, tech issues. And I'll show you such an example later on. You could generate a list of frequently asked questions based on the resources you feed uh, into that notebook. And uh, lots of different other options to generate documents here. Uh, so here, once again, I can also start a chat with, um, just like I would with Gemini. But in this case, it would reference my sources, and it would give me results uh, connected to my sources. So I'll just say something like, uh, I'm interested in materials uh, for my hydrological cycle lesson. And it could pull the information from my sources, organize things, and also showing me the source. So that's what I meant earlier about organizing my sources and figuring what resource I could use. I have all of the information needed related to that unit or that topic, and it shows me where this is found in my sources, and I can easily go to that source and pull the information I need right from there. So that's amazing in terms of helping me organize uh, the materials. Now, once again, think about collaborative um, uh, notebooks. This is a feature that uh, is available in the notebook uh, LM Plus, uh, sharing the notebooks and seeing the analytics. Such a notebook shared by the whole science department, geography department, math department, and so on and so forth, would make it much easier for the teachers to collaborate and share resources and save time uh, in identifying the resources they need. Now, more than that, once I have all the sources in, and I have the material uh, uh, collected for the notebook, we could generate what's called the deep dive conversation, an audio overview. So basically, I can ask Notebook LM to change the content of the sources into sort of a podcast style conversation. Now, heads up, depending on how many sources you have, this might take a few minutes for the audio file uh, to be generated. So I've generated this before uh, the actual uh, session, so I can show you how it works. But once you generate the conversation, it's there, and you could, for example, uh, listen to it on the go. So once again, I'm starting with this example of a notebook centralizing my teaching resources just to have a, a starting point, but we can think about many other creative use cases. And this is how the uh, podcast style. All right, Thomas everybody, Peter welcome back like. to another deep dive. You ready to get a little bit nerdy today? Always. Yes. I'm so excited for mm. this. Just to double check. Can you hear the audio? OK. OK, so this is the conversation that was generated by Notebook LM. And you can generate this uh, deep dive, audio deep dives in the free version as well. But you have a limit to how many you can generate. In the Notebook LM Plus, you will have more uh, more um, gener more audio conversations you can generate. Another thing that you have in the LM Plus, and we had a question in the chat there, uh, the interactive mode. So this is a new feature that was just recently introduced, and this allows you to actually interact with the podcast hosts. So it's they will be water. talking about anything. Yeah. Like literally the water.
I can start the interactive mode and I can join the conversation whenever, uh, whenever All I All right, want. everybody, welcome back to another deep so dive. So this is where I get a little bit something today. like... Always. I'm, oh, hey there, how can we help? Hey guys, I'm actually a science teacher looking at the water cycle and it would be great if you would be able to take some questions from my students. Would you be up for that? Absolutely. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, we'd love to engage with your students. It's great that you're teaching about the water cycle. We're happy to help in any way we can. We were just about to talk about Singapore's approach to water management. And we had a hands-on experiment plan. So yeah, please send in those questions. Oh, oh amazing. Go for it. What hands-on experiment were you planning to talk about? Because we are actually about to start that as well. Oh, perfect timing. We were just about to get into that. It's a really cool experiment from the Singapore Science Center. Yeah, it uses simple materials to show how the water cycle works. It should be really fun for your students to try. Okay, so you'll... Okay, I'll stop it here because I think you got the idea. Uh, so this is a very, very recently recent uh, feature that was introduced. It is in beta. As you've seen, it does take a bit of time just to analyze your input and then generate the response, but it is quite fast. So think about also the opportunity for uh, this kind of use cases where you would give your students the opportunity to sort of pop as uh, pop in as guests during this uh, podcast uh, on uh, on a topic that you choose. So currently, as far as I'm aware, these are the only two uh, voices um, that are available right now. But given that it's such a new feature, I'm assuming that the more people will use it. Uh, there will be more features added here as well. Uh, so this is also something else that I do want to clarify because we did have this, we do have the question in the chat about students. So currently, Notebook LM, you do need to have uh, 18 years uh, minimum to be able to use it. So students will not be able to interact with Notebook LM directly. And that's why I gave this example of me as the teacher sort of conveying the questions to uh, to the podcast uh, hosts because students cannot currently access Notebook LM. Uh, not sure if they have plans to reduce that uh, age requirement, but at this stage, this is uh, what's, what's in place. Once again, having said that, Notebook LM still can be a great asset for teachers because we could use it during the lesson uh, on, on, on our account as well. And once again, we can use it to organize our material and prepare uh, documents for our students. Now, I did mention that I can also share my notebooks. So I could share, uh, for example, I'll add James as, a, uh, as an uh, viewer, or I could also add James as an editor. So there's no comment access because there's no comments in Notebook LM. Uh, but here I can also choose what I want my users or the person I'm sharing the notebook with, what would I like them to have access to? So they could see the full notebook or I could only give them access to the chat. So then they can ask questions based on the collection of resources I've added to that notebook, but they will not see the actual sources. So think about many different use cases here. And just to show you one example of such a notebook, let's say I am working on a Chromebook pilot in my school and we are transitioning all teachers uh, to Chromebooks and I'm part of the IT uh, department. And of course, I'm expecting to get lots of questions and troubleshooting requests and whatnot. I could put together a notebook where I have lots of resources for the Chromebook pilot about Chromebooks, about Google Workspace for Education, common um, issues, common solutions, and so on and so forth. I would put the collection of resources together and I could use this as part of this whole support system. So rather than teachers coming to me, first of all, and asking me, hey, my printer isn't working or I cannot do this on my Chromebook. And by the way, I'm using the Chromebook Pilot example just as an example. You could have a database for all the troubleshooting uh, related to IT issues or Google Workspace into an, uh, a bigger notebook where, uh, that you could use as help for this. And then the users, I could give them chat access only. They could just follow the link, ask their question about printing. So 
um, I want to print, I can't print from my uh, Chromebook. And it would give them some ideas of what would you be able to, uh, or what could you have a look at and what uh, can you try? So step-by-step -step sources, if you want to see the, uh, the document or the source and so on and so forth. Another example, let's say I'm taking part in um, some conferences for teachers where I learn new things. I could create a notebook for myself where I sort of centralize my own learning and my resources, but I could just as well share this with my colleagues after as sort of a way of uh, sharing best practices and insights from the things I've learned uh, at that training event. Or another quick example, let's say I'm organizing a field trip and I want to have one place where I have all the information needed for that field trip. I could very easily place everything into a notebook and then whatever I need related to that field trip, be it contacts for parents, allergies, descriptions for the locations, ideas for activities, and so on and so forth, I'll have them right here. So then especially if there's an emergency, so I'll just say, uh, who has shellfish uh, allergy out of my students, it pulls the information from my documents. At a glance, I get to the Prague Zoo, I realize that for the lunch they have something that contains shellfish. I need to pay attention to Alice and Emily and I don't have to keep all of these things in my head. I have quick and easy access uh, here as well. Or I'll just say uh, I need George's um, emergency contact. And all of this information is once again pulled from my sources. So that's why I said about be creative with how you use these tools because Notebook LM initially was designed as a research tool, but here we see that we can actually sort of bend it to, to our use cases for, for education. So these are just some examples um, of uh, different ways in which we could actually uh, use uh, Notebook LM. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the features and what we can do with Notebook LM, and also maybe give you some starting ideas for uh, thinking about how you can implement, uh, implement it. Now, I'll also say this because we did have a limited amount of time now for, for the demo and for the calls. Um, we actually had also talking about the Gemini Insiders community and uh, the training that we offer. So part of the community, we do offer bi-weekly training sessions, live training sessions where we dive into topics like this and we have more time to explore different use cases. So. Um, for example, for Notebook LM, we had one whole session dedicated to Notebook LM as well. So that would be another good idea for you to think about, especially if you do need to, if you want to try the Gemini licenses, you will get this kind of training on a regular basis from us and also constant support. I do want to yeah, see- just, just, just to emphasize, have... uh, Please Dan. Yeah, Bogdan, just, just to add to that really quickly, great, great point. I mean, in this community, Obviously, Gemini is only one of many things we're, we're looking about the whole Google and, and cloud systems. So we do a limited amount of Gemini, but if you get Gemini licenses through us, like Bogdan mentioned, you're getting Trish training every two weeks. And with Gemini and with Notebook LM especially, it's changing so rapidly that, um, you know, what, what we're, it's really essential to stay on top of it. So just one more reason to get your licenses through us and you'll get access to, to this ongoing. And you can interact with the calls just like this, or you can watch the recording. Sorry, Bogdan, Curry. No worries, no worries. Um, so yeah, that's something that uh, I just wanted to remind you of in terms of the uh, Gemini licenses, and especially if you would think about uh, trying Notebook LM+. Plus.